Hi Park Art friends, my name is Lauren. Some of you might know me already as Miss Lauren, but I will be one of your two Park Art teachers this summer online. It'll be a little bit different teaching you online, but I'm really looking forward to it. I'm glad we're at least doing something together. I will be giving you a new project, a new assignment every Monday, and another teacher, Miss Molly, will be showing you a new project every Thursday. So the projects will be posted on Mondays and on Thursdays, but really you could do them anytime you want. And then on Tuesdays, using Google Meets, we will have a chance to share our work, and that is with me. And then on Fridays, you'll have a chance to share your work with Miss Molly. So the first project that we're going to be doing together is called the I Am An Artist Project. The supplies that you need, just a few things. You'll need some white paper. You'll need a pencil, possibly an eraser too, and a black marker. It could be a Sharpie or any, any black marker works. So the word that I really want you to pay special attention to during this project is the word artist. Take a moment to think about what you, what comes to your mind when you hear the word artist. When I think of an artist, I think of someone who creates, right? Anyone who creates anything is an artist. You could be creating visual art, but you could also be creating musical art or written art or some type of dance art, performance art, right? An artist is a creator. So today, we're going to be doing some visual art, and that means that we're going to be doing a drawing with our pencil and with our marker. And I want you just to think about something that you want to represent. It could be a shape, it could be an animal, it could be a word. You could really represent anything that comes to your mind, possibly something that makes you feel happy, or maybe something that you just feel that you're, you're really good at drawing. But you're an artist, right? Everyone has the ability to create something. So once you've decided on what your design is going to be, or at least what shape you want to use, you can sketch it out on your page. You want to keep it really simple, just the outline at first. You're going to do all your details afterwards. So I'm going to start with the outline of a butterfly. Again, you'll notice how simple I'm keeping it. All of the details are gonna come later. And you're using a pencil, so if it's not perfect or not exactly how you want it, you can erase it. And then I'm gonna add some letters too. I'm gonna add the name Theo, which is the name of my son. He's two months old. But you don't have to put words on yours. You could even keep it as simple as drawing a circle or a heart or anything you want. And once you have your shape outlined the way that you want it, then you're just going to trace over those lines with a black marker. Now, I'm using a Sharpie, but you could really use any black marker. It could be washable. It can be anything. Uh, you could even trace over it with a black colored pencil if you had that. Um, but I know that we have given you markers, so you might as well use that. And so you're getting tracing. means you're going to go right over those lines that you drew before. Uh, you could even, like I'm actually deciding I'm going to connect those two. The idea is that you're creating empty space in between. So I'm creating this is one big empty space, this is one empty space, and then we're going to be filling those spaces in with our details next. Right? But first you want to trace these lines. You'll also notice that like, I didn't trace that perfectly, but that's okay. Because I have my eraser, I can go back and I can erase where I didn't trace perfectly on those lines. 
So now would be a good time to pause the video and take your time tracing over um, because if you rush, then that's when you're, that's probably when you're gonna make a mistake. So pause the video and finish tracing over all of your lines carefully. Once all of your lines are traced over with the black marker, then you can take an eraser. I'm just gonna use the one on the back of my pencil, but I know that uh, you should probably have a separate one too. And I'm gonna erase all of the spaces in the areas that I did not trace perfectly. There's really no such thing as perfect, but when I say that, I mean all the places where I, I didn't go right on the line. So I can erase my extra pencil marks. I have another one up here. And I know I have some down here in my letters. So take your time to erase those spaces where you have extra pencil sticking out from under your black marker. So pause the video to do that erasing. So once you're happy with the way that your outline looks, now is the fun part. It's also the part that's gonna take the longest, so be ready to pause the video at any time to catch up. What you're gonna do is all of these open spaces. So right now I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I have nine open spaces. So I can create nine different patterns to really fill in, fill this in. Um, I will actually, show you some other examples too, even beyond mine, to maybe help you get some ideas. But for example, um, in this middle part, I could take the time to fill it in with the pattern of a bunch of different stars. Right, and so you can get as detailed as you want. Um, I could even, this zero, the, um, the O, I could fill in with polka dots. You can even create some more places to make patterns within the big one. So I am going to make some spots and a design down here that I'm then gonna fill in. I'm gonna make this one striped and then just fill in every other stripe. And now even though I have the same spot on this side, I really want to try to fill as many different patterns as possible. So I'm going to make some zigzag lines over here. I don't know if you can see that. So I have some zigzag lines. You could even put a little more detail there. But you can get really creative. You could put leaves or waves, or any different pattern that you see. And look around you. If you're feeling stuck on a new pattern to use, look around you, notice you know, different patterns maybe around your house, things that you see on fabric, or different patterns that you see maybe on plants or outside your window. Just get creative and have fun with it. So now will be when I will take the time to fill in all the open spaces with the different pattern and on the next slide I'll show you a few different ideas that other people have done to help you brainstorm as well so you'll see some different animals just different words and hopefully that'll help you brainstorm
You've seen lots of different examples now, so take the time that you need to fill in all of your own open spaces with as many different patterns as you can. And I'll do the same. Pause the video. Welcome back. I'm feeling really good about all my different patterns and I hope that you are too. I really look forward to seeing the creations that you've made. I know that you've done a really great job. So you'll notice I have lots of different types of designs here. I have some leaf type designs, polka dots, zigzags, swirls. Again, I just had fun with it and I hope that you did too. The last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some antenna to my butterfly. And there we go. You did it. Great job. So here's mine. And I really look forward to seeing what you created too. Bye artists.